Hello friends. The first thing you will probably say is that there are a huge number of videos on the network on how to make a homemade cyclone filter for a construction vacuum cleaner, and I was late with the roller at least 5 years. Yes it is, but it just so happened, and I needed a cyclone, because my old one died untimely. And in front, chipping the wall, and testing a new nozzle on the angle grinder to collect dust in a vacuum cleaner. A link to a video about an angle grinder attachment will appear later in the description for this video. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And so, while making a new cyclone, I still decided to share this not tricky process with you. Based on previous experience, I immediately ruled out using a plastic bucket and using a glue gun for joints. Since a bucket made of thin plastic is not reliable, it collapses from a vacuum, pricks and it is inconvenient to put a lid on it, and the glue from the glue gun does not hold well the pipes that loosen over time. For the new cyclone filter, I decided to use a 10-liter metal bucket with a lid and hoop. I wanted to take a bigger bucket, about 20 liters, because in a high bucket it seems to me that the cyclone works more correctly, and there will be more garbage in a large bucket. But, since immediately, there were no large buckets in the presence, he took what was. The first thing I did was reinforce the bucket lid, for which I cut out a circle from 16mm chipboard equal to the inner diameter of the metal lid. After that, the cutout circle was securely glued to the outside of the lid. As nozzles, I, like most, use plastic sewer bends 50mm. And for their normal fit in the lid, I took transition couplings for the same pipes with an inner diameter of 50mm and an outer diameter of 73mm. After the glue has dried, I mark a place for two holes in the lid. One of which is located strictly in the middle, for connecting a vacuum cleaner, and the other, with a small indent from the edge for the suction hose. Next, I make holes with a thin drill, after which with a standard 76mm wood crown, I saw through the chipboard to the middle of its thickness. Then, with a jigsaw with an inserted metal saw, I saw through both holes along the slot remaining from the crown. A straight piece of pipe will be inserted into the central part, I make it protrude slightly inside the bucket. On a higher bucket, it seems to me, the central pipe should be made longer, then less light dust should get into the vacuum cleaner. I put the rubber sleeve on the plastic pipe, pushing it onto the thickest part of the pipe. After that, I insert the pipe with a rubber sleeve into the central hole of the cover. To put the coupling on a 90 degree bend of the pipe, I shorten the rubber coupling by one division, after which the coupling, of course, with difficulty. I put it on the corner pipe and insert it into the extreme hole. If it seems that the couplings are not firmly seated in the lid, you can always wind a rope around them from the inside of the lid, which will create an additional seal. To switch to the Karcher vacuum cleaner hose, I use a 50mm to 32mm adapter sleeve inserted into the pipe, and on the vacuum cleaner hose, I put on a standard rubber adapter that comes with the vacuum cleaner. I check the operation of the cyclone by first removing the garbage bag from the vacuum cleaner. As you can see, all the debris ended up in the cyclone tank, there is no debris in the vacuum cleaner itself. But, I want to say right away that very, very fine dust will still get into the vacuum cleaner, and there is no getting away from it, therefore, to protect the paper filter of the vacuum cleaner, I consider using a bag mandatory. That's all, subscribe and watch my new videos, good luck everyone, see you soon.